Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to your faces back to another Stormworks Build and Rescue video. Today we are going to be building a nuclear reactor for our submarine. So let's go ahead and figure that out, shall we? Okay, so as you guys can see, this is our submarine right here. If we go downstairs, we are obviously inside the conning tower. If we go downstairs again, we are inside the area which we actually have to uh, build a nuclear reactor. So, uh, it's not a very big submarine, I'm not gonna lie, but um, we're gonna have to figure out how to fit a, a nuclear reactor in here. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this square right here, uh, and we're gonna go ahead and start building a nuclear reactor within it. Uh, to make sure that it actually fits within the boat. So let's go ahead and uh, get on with it. Okie dokie. So we're going to go ahead and take this whole slot out of the actual boat itself. We're going to go ahead and cut it and we're going to start a new build. So let's go ahead and do a new vehicle, spawn it in, uh, and we'll paste this in here. Now this is where our nuclear reactor has to fit. Yes, this is actually where our nuclear reactor has to fit. Is it going to? I'm not sure. How much room do we actually have to do this? I'm not sure about that either. Uh, but we'll we'll figure it out. Don't you worry. Uh, so it needs to fit in there. All right, that makes sense. This is fine. So um, how do we actually build one? I, I uh, really don't know. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna be experimenting a little bit here. All right. So these are the things that we currently have. We have ourselves a control rod that should actually control the heat uh, of the actual nuclear reactor itself. So we will need at least one of those. Uh, we then have this, which is a fuel assembly. That is where the fuel rod is placed, which this is a fuel rod. So essentially, we're gonna have a relatively small, we're gonna have a relatively small nuclear reactor here. We're gonna go with about six of these. So let's go ahead and do this on both sides, make sure that we have it equal. There we go, we'll have six of these uh, like that. We'll then actually have one of these in the center of all six, uh, and that will control uh, the heat of it, I guess? Um, I'm assuming. Maybe. I'm not actually sure whether this needs to go upwards or not. I, I think it does. So, we're actually gonna build this up to about here like this. There we go. Then we're gonna go ahead and get the control rod and we'll put it there. Yeah, that seems to be the case. I think that's where it goes. Awesome. Uh, so, so far, it's not actually that long. Awesome. Okay, so from there then, we need to go ahead and have something that slides. Oh god, how does this work? So we have to have something that slides our actual fuel rods into the, um, into these things. Because I think that's how this makes sense. I think this is how it works. Uh, so how do we do that? <laughs> how do we do that? I'm not sure. Um, so let's go ahead and get ourselves some sort of, um, it's not a pivot, it's a track, I think. Um, there we go. Like a linear based track. Yeah, this makes sense. Uh, so we put this, let's go ahead and put it up one. Uh, so we'll put, put that there. Uh, we'll attach this to there, so delete this one. And we'll put it right there like this. Okay, delete this entire section. Awesome. Uh, delete this bit too. Yep, yeah, very good. And we'll actually put this all the way to there as well. So that allows it to actually slide back uh, and insert the fuel into the, uh, the fuel place. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, I think that makes sense. Uh, so below this, we're going to go ahead and uh, do something like this. Okay, we can actually build up around this. Make sure to delete this area in the middle, uh, because reasons. Uh, and then, I think, if we go for the nuclear thing, we can put these, oh my god, they glow so much, on there, like so. Uh, and I think they will get inserted straight into there, and that's how they work. Maybe. All right, so with that being said then, we are gonna build ourselves a wall uh, across this bit of here. There we go. We're also going to build ourselves a wall down the side here as well, because that makes sense. There we go. Uh, and we're also going to build a wall across the top of this, because uh, that also makes sense. So get rid of this. There we go. Get rid of this. And there's our nuclear reactor. Right, okay. No, this makes sense, I think. I think this will totally work. So inside of here, I think we need something like clear water. Like, not clear water. We need fresh water, so we need a spawner. Here we go. Here's a spawner. We'll whack it in. Uh, probably in this wall actually, so delete that, put it right there, uh, and that'll spawn in fresh water. Alright, not diesel, we don't want to be heating up diesel. Fresh water, there we go. So this is our nuclear reactor, interesting. Uh, we're gonna get ourselves a number, which automatically places the fuel rods inside. Now, it is worth mentioning, 
we aren't going to have a reload procedure, so we're not actually going to be able to refuel this thing once these fuel rods are actually spent. So, yeah, I don't know what the distance is going to be, like our, our range, but uh, I guess we'll see. Alright, so if we put a constant number on the top of here, we can then attach it to this, and it's going to be like 1. Uh, so that actually automatically pushes it in, and that makes sense. Alright, very good. Uh, we're going to get a dial real quick, because I want to see how much um, energy... Uh, so, well, I want to see if this works, is essentially what I'm saying. I want to see if it works. So attach this onto here. That's going to show us the temperature, which is awesome. Uh, this is going to be attached to a... Uh, keypad, yeah, so that we can actually change what value it has, um, yeah, alright, here we go, so if we insert it and stuff, uh, ooh. What, what value does that give us, what value is that, insertion rod target, so the more this goes in, the more it cools the whole thing down, the less it goes in, the less it cools everything down, so essentially we'll be putting this in, pulling it out, making sure that the the whole reactor is at the right temperature, so we'll figure that out now. Okay, so for this all to actually take place, we're going to put a battery inside because we do actually need electricity. There we go, believe it or not, that's awesome. Uh, and all of that should work, so spawn it in. Let's see if our nuclear reactor works. Alright, we're going to have to dive for this. <laughs> we're going to have to dive for this, that's okay, here we go. Dive on down. If that's spinning, this is good. Alright, it is spinning. Just very slowly. Hmm. Okay, so instead of diving, we're gonna actually go inside of here and we'll do it on land because that makes a lot more sense. So if we spawn this in here, let's go ahead and do that. All right, this is the back of our submarine. It's gone backwards and it's inserted itself in. That's awesome. It is gonna heat itself up a little bit quicker because the outside isn't water. Uh, and hopefully this will start going a lot quicker than this, maybe. Okay, and this is currently what it actually looks like on the inside, so I think we're okay here. Uh, the control rod isn't actually pushed in, so that's okay. But they should be, like, heating up, but they're, they're just not. So I'm not sure what to do there. Alright, this doesn't really seem right to me, so I think it should be getting a little bit more... It should be getting hotter than that. That's 25. That is, that is just not good. But what I want to see is, if I insert this, I don't know if it's just one or more than one, it does actually go down, so the control rod does actually work. Interesting. Alright, we need to figure out how this works then. Alright, so to start off with, we're actually going to delete the roof of this. There we go, and we're going to lower it down a little bit. There we go. So, there's less water to actually heat up. Uh, that, in the long run, should be a little bit... Uh, should be quite good for us. Uh, and I think that does make sense. Uh, they get pushed into here, which is completely fine. Um... Yeah, okay. I'm going to fill up some of the areas to make sure that we don't heat up too much water. Uh, and I think that does actually make a bit of sense. Alright, very cool. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. And we're also going to do this. There we go. Uh, so that that all works. Those do get pushed in, and that's fine. I just think it should be hotter than it is. So I'm not sure what's going on there. But, um, alright, cool. Let's add uh, a little window so we can actually see inside. Uh, windows, here we go. Let's use a 2 by 3 Yes. Okay, and we'll put that right there. Just so we can see inside. Okay, so I have heard it clunk. So it is actually inserted. There we go. Look at that. Awesome. Uh, and the water is heating up, which makes sense. We might actually just need more. We, we might need more uh, in order for this to work properly, but I'm not sure. All right, I am going to change it up a little bit. Uh, we're going to do one more uh, on each side. So we're going to put this right here like this. There we go. No, that doesn't work. Uh, we're going to put it right back here. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, back there, like that. There we go. Uh, and that should work. Awesome. Uh, we're then going to grab more control, uh, more of these rods, fuel rods, put them on the sides. And that should heat up the water a little bit quicker. Okay, there we go. So we are actually heating up a lot more now. We're at 50, okay? Uh, I think we do want to be a lot hotter than that. But um, I'm going to leave this for a little bit. And we're going to see if it gets up to a good temperature. Uh, and then we'll come back to it and we'll see if it will actually work for us. Because we still need to put a boiler in here. We need to put a condenser in here. Uh, we need to be able to heat up and cool down the water, which is both of those things. Um, and also a turbine as well to actually create the power. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we do still need to do uh, on top of this. But um, we'll wait for it to heat up a little bit and we'll see what it gets up to. 
There we go. Okay, so we are actually getting up to uh, quite good values here, which is uh, awesome. So that's good. We're going to go ahead and start building the other stuff in here now. We need a turbine. We need um, a boiler, a condenser. We I don't know how to actually put all this together, but we'll, we'll give it a go anyway. We'll just, yeah, use our brains and hopefully that works. <laughs> Okay, so to start with, we're going to go ahead and actually drop these two down because they are in the way. They're not in a very good place, actually. Let's push them backwards all the way to the very back right here, paste them there, and merge them on. There we go. Very good. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and get all the other pieces. Now, where can I get them from? Are they all together? Because if they're not all together, then we might have a problem. Because I can't remember what everything's called. Bean, 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 bean. Bean, 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 bean. Cool. Oh my Jesus, these things are actually way bigger than I thought they were going to be, but that's okay. So right here we've got steam uh, steam out, okay, we got steam in on this side. Uh, sorry, water in on that side, steam out on the left, that's good. Uh, we have ourselves coolant A and coolant B. Um, port for supplying hot fluid to heat the contents of the boiler. Okay, port for supplying hot fluid to heat the contents of the boiler. What? I don't understand. Okay, so we're gonna have to figure out how this works then. I think one of these is in, one of these is out. So let's go ahead and get a pump and uh, we'll actually pump the water in. Uh, I'm assuming we can use one of these. Now, I have looked at Billy's experimental thingamabobby that he helped me with. Uh, and it does seem to be the case that we do actually put it in here. So this does make sense. I'm just gonna use a normal pipe to actually bring it back out though. Uh, because I think that will totally work. We're uh, also gonna get ourselves a fluid pot. Uh, for reasons and things, so if I can get a fluid port, that would be awesome. Here we go, fluid port, and we'll put that right there. Okay, we'll do the same thing right here as well, and we'll also pipe them into the same place. All right, there we go. Uh, so that is providing um, the water in to actually heat up the steam quicker, I think. Uh, on this side, this is steam out. Okay, so water goes in this side, steam comes out, steam goes into a turbine, uh, because that's the way that works. Um, like this. Oh, God. Okay. So, steam goes into a turbine, which has to go into the side of it, which is there. Oh, no. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It goes into this side. So, okay. So, steam out. Steam in. Oh, my Jesus. Fitting this in properly is going to be a pain in the butt. All right, so I've turned it around so that the steam actually goes in here. There we go. And then the steam out comes here. And this should go to a condenser and be condensed so that it is cooler and then it goes back around and things start up again the process starts again i think that's how this works i don't know though all right so we're gonna have it go straight from here uh straight from here into there okay we're gonna have this go from here into here and um this is gonna have a generator on it this is gonna have water go backwards and this is gonna have a radiator on it that's gonna cool down all of the water okay i've got it in my head this seems to make sense maybe Okay, so let's uh, connect up these pipes then. So hot pipes are going to be red and cool pipes are going to be blue. So let's get a pipe uh, and we'll start working on this. Okay, so it's going to go from here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. going to go from here. It's going to come backwards. Okay, so it's going to go backwards. Uh, the quicker it is to actually get inside of here, uh, the hotter it will be, I'm assuming. Because I think we're going to lose out on quite a lot of heat uh, with the fact that we are moving it around so much. So... Let's go ahead and... Oh, we should do this. I want to do it neatly, but um, yeah, that'll work. Okay. Uh, actually, let's do this, and we'll have it go along the side of the tank. That seems to make more sense. So, we'll go like that. There we go. Delete all of these. Delete that. Delete that. Put that in, and connect. Whoa! Connect these together. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, steam in. Uh, so, steam out comes out of here. Uh, it's still hot at this point, so it comes this way. And then it goes upwards into there. Okay, okay, where it gets cooled down, it comes out of here, and it needs to go back to the boiler, which is, this is where water goes in. Okay, right, jeez Louise. Okay, so I'm thinking we have a water tank uh, in here as well, so that we can pump the cooled water into a tank, then from the tank into the boiler, and so on. Yes. You guys are seeing my entire thought process here, sorry the camera's all, all budged, but um... You guys are seeing my entire thought process, and it might not be a good one. Okay, so the water out is actually going to go straight into a tank. All right, it's going to go directly into a medium tank uh, for reasons unknown. There we go. 
All right, is that going to go straight in? No, it has to go there. Nope, it has to go there. All right, fantastic. So this is going to be a half-filled freshwater tank. Okay, because it's going to be fresh water that's being pumped around. That seems to be fine for me. Let's go ahead and use it. All right, pipes. Here we go. Bring this forwards. Whee! There we go. Awesome. Um, I want to have it go up and around so it comes around the top and then plugs in. Okay, so do this. Right there. Have it go backwards. That's awesome. Have it continue backwards. Then come sideways. Uh, whoop, like so. And then we'll have it connect up to here. Okay, so upwards, like so. Downwards, like so. Connect those together. Awesome. Nice. Okay, so we've got water. It goes through the boiler. I'm going to actually fill this up. It's going to be full. Because this is the only water in the actual circuit so far. All right, so the coolant now. We need a radiator. Um, because reasons. I want it to be a big old radiator if I can fit one. Uh, and we can fit one. So we're going to have a big old radiator. It's going to go right here. Uh, we're going to connect it up, and hopefully that's good enough. It might not be. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Maybe, though. All right, so the cold is actually connected. Let's go ahead and connect the hot one now as well. Let me go ahead and connect this to here and point it this way. Point this one that way and attach them together. All right, very nice. So we got a radiator in here that's going to cool it down. we got the water that's cooled is going to go back into the boiler. The boiler's going to send it this way, going to go into the turbine. Turbine's going to send it back. That's okay. Generator, I think this is done. Big generator? Sure, we'll go with that. All right, so with that being said, we have no way of actually getting to here, and I need to figure it out. So, yes. Uh, right, we're going to get a dial. And in fact, we're probably going to get a few. Here we go. Get a few dials, whack them on the bottom of here. Uh, we're going to get the keypad, and we're also going to put it on here. Uh, and this is going to be the thing that controls it, so there we go. Alright, makes sense. Connect all of these together, like so. Connect that to there, that to there. This to here, and this to there, sure. Um, the pump is automatically going to go on, so we need an on signal for that. Signal, an on signal gonna go right there awesome connect that straight up that's gonna turn on straight away fine that's good uh, we're gonna have this connect onto here that's the control rod we're gonna have this dial connect onto here that's the temperature so let me write that down uh, reactor temp there we go this is gonna be gen output uh, and we'll see how that goes. So gen output right there, and we'll have a battery on the roof. <laughs> we'll have a battery on the roof. Why wouldn't we? Uh, so that is going to connect up to this, and we need to make sure that's working like this. So battery, here we go. Battery. Okay, good. And then just to make sure we're using the battery, we're going to get a motor. And we're going to put it right on the battery itself. There we go. Get ourselves a propeller. And this is how we're going to test things. Giant? No. Just a normal one. Here we go. Like this. Awesome. So this is how we test things. Is it going to work? I don't know. Throttle is what we need. Okay. Here we go. So throttle. Going to go right here. On this. Like this. There we go. And connect this up to there. Very good. And also the electricity to the throttle itself. There we go. And electricity to there. Is this going to work? I don't know. All right, so I've gone ahead and spawned it in. Let's see what's happening here. The temperature is going up. That's fine. Generator output is currently not doing anything. How we connect all of the surfaces uh, together? I think we have. So the gen output should start doing something eventually. I'm just going to use some of the battery. Real quick. There we go. And then hopefully we can get this all working. Maybe. All right, so I guess it's my job literally just to wait here now, and uh, I guess we'll see what happens. It says tank store. We're actually got we got nothing in there. We got no we got no fluid in here. Do we have fluid in here? No, we got no we got no fluid in there. Do we have fluid in here? Fluid. We do have fluid in here. So the fluid's gonna get boiled up and then sent around, and then hopefully we'll get a generator output. Cool. 
Okay, no, this is good. This is good. All right, our generator output is now is now actually working. That's very good. Our reactor temperature is 172. Our boiler temperature is actually 105. So as soon as it gets to the right temperature, um, the pressure actually goes up, and that then provides steam. Uh, the steam comes into the turbine, pushes the turbine around, and around, and around, which then pushes the generator around, and around, and around, and that is what gives us this, uh, which is our generator output. However, um, I've stopped this from actually moving. And our generator is not outputting enough electricity to actually regen the electricity in the battery just yet. So we need to wait and see if this reactor is actually big enough to um, to regenerate our battery. Because it needs to. Also, I'm not entirely sure how much water, sorry, how much fluid we should actually put inside of this. Because the boiler is running out. You see, the boiler has run out of water there. So if the boiler runs out of fluid, I'm assuming then it could actually blow up. Maybe. Okay, so it's getting, getting like a constant rate of 51, okay? Uh, that means it is recharging, however, uh, there is very little water actually in here. So the water is passing through there right now. The water is also passing through here, and the water should be going back to the boiler, which is then passing it straight out uh, as steam, I think. Yes. So with that being said then, we need more water. This tiny tank doesn't actually do it for us, so we need more. All right, we need more water. Delete this and this. All right, awesome. Go ahead and put this literally just on that one. There we go. Put another one in there as well, uh, and that is A-OK. -okay. We then just need this to come down to the end. There we go. Awesome. Drag it down and drag it in. Okay, there we go. Uh, diesel, that is not what we want. Fresh water, yes. So fresh water, there we go. Fresh water again. Awesome. Uh, and that'll put it back in the system, and that is completely fine. Awesome. We do have more area here for more water if we need it, but uh, I think a bunch of these will actually do. I think that'll suffice. That's good. All right, so I quickly went and deleted the side just so we could see a little bit more, but uh, the temperature is going to go up again. I don't know if there's like a way of actually boosting this so that it instantly actually heats up. Uh, we could put like a firebox in or something like that, I guess. But uh, that is not what we're going to do. We are going to hope that the nuclear reaction is good enough for us. All right. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on again. We're going to get rid of some of the electricity. There we go. Uh, and as soon as this gets down to about 90, we'll turn it off. We'll wait for the generator to work. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Okie dokie. Right. So it is all working now. The generator output is going up and up and up. That's awesome. The talk of this is up to 6.3. Okay, awesome. The fluid in here is actually, we do still have fluid in there. That's good. It just blew up. The boiler just blew up? The boiler just blew up. So we're no longer generating any power and it's dead. Okay, so what do I do? <laughs> I don't know what I do here. Uh, do I make sure that the, the nuclear reactor doesn't go above 200 or something like that? I'm not sure. So let me figure out how this works. If I press 2, what happens? That goes down a lot. Okay. Or maybe not 2, sorry. Uh, not point, point 0.4 or something. Because if I put it at 2, then the, the control rod just goes straight in. Uh, and that stops all reaction. Or most reaction. So we actually need it to be a lot less. Yeah, alright. Okay. So, I think we've got it sort of sorted. Uh, it does obviously need tweaking, but I think in the next video, we'll actually put this inside of our submarine uh, and we'll see if we can actually get it working properly. And then, I don't know, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll hope for the best with that one. Yeah. So, yeah, we have actually built a nuclear reactor then. Uh, that does actually sort of work, but at the same time it blows up the, uh, the boiler. So, we need to figure out how that works. Um, I think it is to do with the control rod and the water inside of here getting too hot. Uh, which means that this gets too hot and then it explodes. So, we do need to make sure that that is solved. However, uh, I am actually going to end this video here for now. I want to say thank you guys very, very much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, before we do actually end as well, uh, I do want to say a big thank you to Billy uh, for actually helping me out with this as well. Uh, he did create a whole thing, um, and he sort of showed me the basics of how it would work. So, yeah, I want to say thank you to Billy. So, there you go, Billy. Thank you.